February is Heart Health Month, and eating a nutritious diet is important for your heart health. Registered dietitian Polly Ritchie explains how the Mediterranean diet can help. Polly, it is Heart Health Month and the Mediterranean diet. This is a very popular diet, but when I think about it, I think about fish, but there's more to this diet. So share that with us and where does it originate from? The Mediterranean diet is a traditional diet of the Mediterranean region. And it's a diet that has evolved over the last 5,000 years. And, and um, it really came into popularity in the 1960s when people from the region were studied and shown to have a lot lower incidence of heart disease. And so researchers wanted to look back and see why that was, what they're eating that might help to prevent heart disease. And so what they found when they studied were a lot of commonalities within this region in terms of diet. So one of the overarching commonalities is a reliance on whole unprocessed natural foods, less sugar, less processing. Um, also looking at um, local and seasonal vegetables and fruits as kind of the center of your plate, making up the majority of the diet. Whole grains is another emphasis of the Mediterranean eating pattern. Um, and then also heart healthy fats like olive oil, nuts and seeds. And lastly, a reliance on plant protein. So things like legumes, lentils, chickpeas, and seafood. Um, so that really makes up this eating pattern. So it's not necessarily about a specific food per se, but it's about this overall style of eating. This a diet in itself too is really growing in popularity right now, right? It's been around for, you know, for a while, certainly, but it's really just continued to grow. And I think the reason why is, you know, not only all of the research that's been done to help to um, show that this diet promotes wellness, decreases risk of heart disease, decreases risk of other chronic diseases like cancer and diabetes, um, but also it's a super versatile diet. It is one that um, is super easy to implement. Um, it's delicious. There's a lot of variety involved um, and it can, you know, it can be really simple and easy and a fun way to eat. Yeah, and I can imagine too, this is a great diet for anyone who's interested in, in their heart health, but just overall wellness and it's incredibly delicious. I'm a big fan of the Mediterranean diet myself actually, um, but um, if someone wants to take that step and start this type of diet, uh, where should they begin? So I think with um, any kind of, when we're looking at changing any kind of habits, it's important to start small. Um, if you are looking at making a complete revamp, it gets a little bit overwhelming. Um, so, you know, think of very specific things that you can pull from this dietary pattern and implement. And I would suggest doing like one at a time. You know, it might be something where maybe you go one meal a week is meatless and maybe you're incorporating more legumes. Maybe it's that you've never tried chickpeas or lentils and maybe you're looking for recipes that utilize um, those types of plant protein. Or when uh, it starts to get warmer and there's more farmers markets around that are springing up, maybe it's visiting farmers markets and utilizing more of that seasonal local produce that we have available here. Okay, where can people go to learn more? Certainly, you can go to saltzerhealth.com. I do nutrition coaching and can be found um, through saltzerhealth.com. But also, if you're looking for resources with the, specifically for the Mediterranean diets, you can go to the American Heart Association webpage. Um, they have uh, resources and education and also recipes um, listed there.